Morristown Colonials football team take on the Roxbury Gales in their season opener. Morristown continues their poor first half when in the second quarter, Roxbury marches down the field and after multiple good runs, they are able to get in for the score, putting them up 14-0. On the ensuing drive late in the second half, Morristown starts off well with a 6-yard run from Jamil King, followed by a big 4th down conversion from Drew Chilson. Later in the drive, quarterback Colin Polk's pass is incomplete on third and long, intended for Nathan Estevan. After a forced fumble by Eric Hassenbein and Jamil King, Morristown's next drive does well through the air, picking up a first down on Polk's pass to Jamil King. Late in the second quarter, Polk gets sacked and time runs out after he isn't able to get a spike off in time, ending the first half, with Morristown trailing 14-0. Morristown starts the second half with a change at quarterback as Jake Buckner comes into the game. Drew Chilson starts the second half with a three yard carry. Two plays later, Buckner fakes a jet sweep to King and keeps it himself for an eight yard gain. A few plays later on fourth down, Buckner fakes the inside handoff to Chilson and runs in for a 43 yard touchdown, bringing the score to 14-7. On Roxbury's next drive, they take 10 minutes off the clock, and after multiple successful running plays, they're able to punch it in for the score. Morristown, however, starts off their next drive with a strong 25-yard rush from Drew Chilson. A few plays later, Buckner fakes to Chilson and throws a strike to sophomore Jason Jones for a 42-yard touchdown putting Morristown down by just seven. But Roxbury is able to counter, and after multiple good runs, they're able to get in for the score, giving them a 14-point lead. On Morristown's next drive, they start with a 35-yard run from Matthew McNally. Jamil King takes his next run 18 yards and appears to get in the end zone, but it's marked short. Regardless, three plays later, King would run in for the score. Unfortunately, Ryan Devaney's extra point is blocked, keeping the score at Roxbury 28, Morristown 20. On Roxbury's next drive, they're able to break out several long runs, effectively sealing the victory for the Gales. The game finished with the final score of Roxbury 28, Morristown 20. Come support the Colonials on Saturday, September 16th at 1pm on the Morriston High School turf.